All right, got my sample. Now I'm gonna go back further into here. Um, kind of armed, I've got my knives. But look at this, look at this right here. This is what I'm talking about. Look at these round gravels here, going up the trail. Oh, and look at this right here. See, these are bench deposits. I think this, this hillside is an ancient bench deposit. All of this right here, all of these. At one time, and it just layered, sedimentary. All sedimentary. Man, I should get a sample from here too, shit. <clears throat> it's all coming down this, uh, this trail, natural runoff, you know? Look at this in here. So, pretty cool back here, you know? Big old, look at these big old natural river cobbles, man. These weren't placed here. I mean, well, actually, yeah, they probably were. They were probably dumped here, you can tell. <coughs> For the most part. But, all this right here, this is all natural stuff. You can kind of see the black sand. Actually, I might just take a sample from this stretch of gully right here, natural gully, just cut out, might be, might be something in it, huh, beautiful back here, look at all this, okay, up in there, it's gorgeous up there, this is rattlesnake country back here in the summer, Big time. And there's some big ones in here. It's like an eight footer uh, last summer. Welcome back here. And since then, I haven't been back here since. Uh, I waited to, you know, until it got colder when they're hibernating. Now you can catch up where I was. Definitely game trail. See, there's cobbles mixed in with this stuff right here. You know? It's slate, it's, sh it's shale mixed with river cobble. So this was telling me this was an ancient deposit at one time, man. A lot of heavy clay, I bet. Hmm. It is gorgeous, though. I tell you what. Spot to come do some definitely do some prospecting back here again. Like I said, look at that down there. That's, that's deep. Yeah, hurt yourself. Can you say it's probably where the cats hang out and travel down through the, uh, the gullies. back here it's kind of that's what's freaky though because you really shouldn't not by yourself because this is where you see people in their dumbass videos uh, when they run into mountain lions and shit you know god forbid because they are back here all right i don't want to go any further and plus it's getting windy and they're calling for snow look like it's it's clouding up real nice Starting to cloud up. It's getting windy. Look at how that shale just drops off right there. Should get some samples at the bottom of that uh that base, the base of that hillside, base of all these hillsides. Look at this. You know, might be alluvial. Let's, go up there. Let's check it out. Let's see. Just step. Trail, I guess, but. Oh, that's 
do some exploring. Let's do some exploring. Look at this. There are big old round big cobbles come up here. Wow. Check this out. Holy. Look at that. That's some big ones. That's a big old hunker. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, man. Definitely got to come up here and grab a sample. But I'm going to check what's in those arroyos first because, like I said, from down here, it all it all flows to the to the creeks, to the, uh, the little deposits. Let's check it up here. We up here, it's creepy. <laughs> Look at this, how beautiful. There's a lot of round cobble up here, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Watch out, there's probably rattlesnakes. Stay away from the trees. It's kind of cold. They're probably sleeping. Oh wow, look at this. Holy shit. Holy bejesus. Look at what's up here. <laughs> Get a sample. I'm way up here, guys. Check it out. I'm on the cliff side. Oh, about a hundred feet up. Bird's eye view, baby. Windy. It's blowing in. Yeah, I'm up here. Juanito doing some exploring. This is uh, all virgin ground. Never been. I mean, I drive by here, but I never been up here. That's treacherous right there. Gotta be careful. Got those overhangs right there. See that? Step on that, you'll fall, bust the head open, kill yourself. All of that. You really gotta be careful. But though, I'm just looking at all this fresh gravel cobble that's up here. So, yep, this is where it's at. Desert prospecting. Let's check it out. Let's go further up, further up, further up. Look at this, all this. Look, there's deer, deer, deer dropping. So we're on game trail, guys. This is game. Look at that, all up in there. There's all kinds of river cobble up in there. All right, let's get back. Let's get back. There's, a, there's deer that hang out up here. Where there's deer, there's cats. Yeah. All mixed in, tight, cat. This is a, a natural wash point coming down. Wow. Amazing stuff. Keep going, let's get out of here. A lot of deer coming here. There are pockets on it. So, uh, yeah, all kinds of deer droppings everywhere. Just come down, be careful where you step. And, and maybe we'll go this way, this way is a bit easier. Coming down, look at the pockets. There's deer all over this thing, I bet you. At night, these hillsides just come alive, Jack. One, two, God. So much deer poop, man, can't be careful, can't step in it. <laughs> Wanna do some crevicing. This is the place to do it. Wanna do some sample, some desert prospecting. This is the place to come and check it out. God, it's windy. It's beautiful back here though. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a pretty piece of dirty quartz. Ooh, ooh, on a mountainside. But you, well, there's one, there's got, I mean, it's probably float, but it's yellowish dirty. And it could be topaz too. You never know. 
Wow. That was pretty stuff. What's that? Is that another one? <laughs> Gotta spit on it to uh, identify it. Try to break, uh, bust it up. Try to get a rock crusher and bust up some of this stuff. I know uh, a good spot over here though. So they got big chunks of dirt quartz, but again, who knows, right? You know, I got a friend of mine who uh, is on this group. Uh, that's what he's been doing. He's been getting quartz and crushing it up and scoring some good free mail out of it, which is awesome. All right, well, did a little bit of exploring. Um, got a good sample off of the, uh, the arroyos here, the drainage ditches and stuff, the gullies. Um, did some exploring up on the cliff side up there. You know, that's up there, man. That's where we were at, looking down. Uh, so that's about a good, I don't know, 100, 200 feet up, maybe. Enough to hurt you. <laughs> but yeah, I found all kinds of river gravel here up top. So I uh, definitely got to come back and get some uh, samples. Let's see what's up. Okay, so. Up here with a metal detector, that's for sure. Okay. Coyote poop. Definitely predators. What is that? Some say, hey, you're shit. <laughs> Guess you kind of have to, though, when you're around here to see what's going on. Down in here, there's a nice little gully ditch back in there. This whole place is full of them. <laughs> so when the, I mean, there's really no. I mean, I imagine when the when the mountains get into full swing runoff, these get affected eventually, or if they stay dry, mostly big rains and stuff would get them going. But I don't know. I mean. They got deep like this for a reason, so there's got to be a, a lot massive amount of water that comes through here. Well, we'll see. We'll come back and visit it in the spring. See, we'll check it out. See what's up. All right. Till then, man. Y'all be cool. Oh, you're a Pueblo Prospector. Signing out. Give me bands, guys. Later.